Hello, um, welcome back to another video. Um, this is different from what I'm usually doing. I did one of these before and I thought I would do it again. So I am doing a review of a, uh, actually a new Yeezy model, the 350 knit, or, or the Yeezy 350 V2 compact slate onyx. Now, I definitely would say it isn't a more popular one. It it is still you can still buy it on Adidas right now. Like the Adidas confirmed that I mean. And I'm confused on why. These things are okay, maybe they aren't as stylish, but and they look kind of weird when you're first holding it, right? Here they are. They seem kind of flat, fronts a bit lifted. And maybe the colorway and the fitted lace that that is on these doesn't look that appealing to people, and that's understandable. But I think it was an injustice that was made because when I put these things on feet, these things are some of the comfiest shoes I've ever worn, and these things are super stylish in my opinion. So if you were looking at the shoe, right, say my foot came in. It kind of pops it up like that a little bit and it lowers down the front part and it kind of adds more bulk to it and it just look at it it looks so clean for the top in my opinion there I don't know how to explain it but if you see under the lace here there is this line and there's a lot and I mean a lot of it's just I don't know what the material is to be honest with you but it is it, it's super soft like imagine your pillow that is pretty much where it is right there now the rest of it is a knit upper the knit upper is extremely comfortable in my opinion a whole lot more comfortable than the normal yeezy 350 um if you look at the shoe it does have the 350 bottom it also has a 350 boost so you can see here i, I i've worn a little bit so it's kind of dirtied up now i've been kind of holding off on reviewing these because it's like in my opinion I really like how they look and I love how they feel but I wanted to see how it would be after like a couple weeks because they've been out since the 2nd of August I believe I got them the 7th and it is now the 19th and wearing them to work out on like errands to school now stuff like that I have to say these things are absolutely like amazing most other shoes say like Jordans my the Yeezy 450 which I consider to be the most comfortable this thing kind of just blows it out of the water because like at the end of all those things eventually my feet hurt these things now it feels like I'm stepping into a pillow and it, when I get out I feel perfectly fine with it nothing happens and I feel amazing wearing these now, I do feel like I should show you what these look like on feet because that would do these things a bit justice. So I'm going to throw them on feet real quick. And no, you will not get feet pics. So, if you look at the shoes, bam, that's how they look up top. There's a bit of a side view, if that helps. You could do it from the other side. And again, as I said, this thing just feels like you're wearing pillows on your feet. Now, I should show you the box. I feel like that would be helpful. It's nothing crazy. It's exactly what you would expect from Adidas at this point. An easy 350 on the top, knit on the side here, one side of it. Easy 350 compact V2 made by Adidas, has an Adidas logo. On the other side, shows what size you are. It says the exact same thing. For me, I got it as a size 12. As all Yeezys are, sliding box. And something I thought was really cool, um, actually sneak peek on what I'm gonna do next. Uh, here's the normal 350 box with the boost. And these get like inspiration from the 450 which was a, like knit upper, smaller size, just like travel. Here's the normal 350 box size. 
here is the comparison. You can see how much smaller that is. Now, I'm gonna grab a 450 box if you give me a second. To show you the size comparison between that. Here's the 350 box. And here's the 4 450. It's all right. There's the 450, there's the 350. Definitely a little bigger, but like it's not really comparable. And as I said, it gives me a lot of how it's made. A lot of it reminds me of the 450. As you can see, they both kind of have that front lift there. Over the top, they look really cool in my opinion. This one's clearly a lot more inspirational on the 350. This one is just, some people call it the dinosaur shoe, which is, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it now. But these ones have something I like a whole lot more, the Infinity Lace, instead of having to fiddle with the laces on this one, and like mess with it all the time, this one, I just slide it on foot, which I feel like if these had that, these would be so much better in my opinion. I'd wear these a whole lot more. Now, the one thing I like so much about these things is again, you could just open it up, slide it on foot, and it just feels amazing because of this uh, upper. But the only problem is, is unlike the 350s, it's me this is one material and it doesn't have this boost foam in it. It is just, uh, I actually don't know what it's called. It's just not as comfortable as whole, as you would be in a 350. Now this is pretty much a 350. It has that boost in it, so it is extraordinarily, like, it just, it just, it just feels amazing. Now, how long would I think these things would last? It depends. So these are definitely not some performance shoe. Like you can't go out and run in these things. You can't go like play basketball or something in it. There's the traction on the bottom, in my opinion, is terrible. I was, I went out and tried to play basketball in it one time because I didn't have my bellows on me. And I thought I broke my ankle. I took a step and the whole shoe went sideways and my foot was in it like this. So. Don't expect anything performance-based out of these. These are you would take to, like, to the mall to walk around it. That's the most these shoes are gonna be. It's mostly a like comfortable lifestyle shoe. Now sizing, um, definitely go through to size. In my opinion, I all shoes I go up half a size because I have an extra toe on my right foot, so I have to get extra like just little bit wider for my feet so they aren't as cramped but uh these things are apps run really big at the front like and when i put my feet in i have like if you see where the front is i have like that much space in the shoe so definitely go true to size and if if you have really narrow feet you could even go down half a size in my opinion now Hmm. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, how long do I think these things would last? If you're wearing it normally, these things should last you a really long time. Problem I am, I am starting to see with it though, after wearing it for like several weeks now, is if you see here, there's a little bit that's coming off. And since it, the knit upper is kind of like sewn to the bottom, that eventually could like fall off and just like tear off and you'd either have to sew it back on or just buy a new pair. The good news is with this is resale value on these are terrible. Unlike 350s where you could find them for like 200, 300 on resale markets. These you get for retail 200. You can find it on like StockX, Goat, stuff like that for like 140. I think these go for 160 right now on StockX which kind of makes me sad because I'm like, eh, I could have paid less for it, but I'm not complaining because these things feel amazing in my opinion. Well, all right, that is the end of my review. Thank you so much for watching. I, I hope y'all enjoyed this and I 
really hope that you guys would consider this shoe again because it is probably my favorite shoe that I have. That's even including like Thunder Force, my Red Thunder Force, like that includes all of the shoes I have. These things, it's like an ugly sort of love where I just, whenever, it's like Crocs. You look at it and you're just like, I just want to wear it. Like, I'm sorry, everything else. It doesn't even make sense, the style. I just want to wear it for how comfortable it is. But thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, and I hope you all have a good day.